Pass the milk, please, then. What have you got on today? You going running after school? No, it's not for you, like it. It's not like you. Anyone for toast? No, Uncle. Ah, oh, Jace. Has he left home? That's up to him, isn't it? Me and your mother aren't going chasing after him. Right, who's for tea? I don't want one, thanks. No, neither do I. Happy families, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was just flapping over nothing, really. Oh, OK, Barry, yeah, that's great. I really appreciate it. All right, bye. Coffee time. Thanks, Rach. That sounded like good news. Who was it? Um, it was Barry Grant. Oh, yeah. What did he want? Um, it was just club business. I'll go through it with you later. What are you doing in here? Nothing. Aren't you going to work? No, I found him sick. The big chief won't like that. The big chief will just have to lump it. That's fighting too. Yeah. <laughs> what have you got there? Football trophy. Let's have a look. Do you remember when he won that? Yeah, cup final. <laughs> Booked horse from Shelton. <laughs> Meant to be sub, wasn't he? Got a game last minute. Yeah, that's right. I nearly went for that lad with the red hair who tried to trip him up. <laughs> Seems like yesterday. <sighs> What's happened to him, Greg? I just don't understand. You know, one minute he's asking for pocket money and the next he's just... I don't know, babe, I really don't. I just feel like it's all my fault. You are? I'm not being here for them. You know, late nights and union meetings. I've spent that much time sorting out other people's problems. I've completely missed what's been going on under my own roof. Don't be soft. How could we not have known, Greg? He must have been going through torment. Absolute torment. It's just gone right over our heads. He should have come to us, Mark. Something as big as that. He shouldn't have gone behind our backs. Oh, Ollie, hey. glad I caught you. Only just. I'm waiting for our friendly neighbourhood builders to show their faces. They're already 20 minutes late. <laughs> oh, well, they can't exactly say they've been causing traffic, can they? <laughs> Listen, you remember a while back you offered to get some boxes from the shop? Boxes? Yeah, to pack stuff in for the move. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, you've reached that stage, have you? I yes, yeah, all systems go. We exchange on Friday. Really? Well, when's your completion date? <laughs> Next week. Next week? Yeah, it's taken us a bit by surprise, to be honest. Um, well, shouldn't be a problem with the boxes. I can drop them over to you later. Thanks. And, um, any more news on the work front? All quiet on the Western Front. Rumour mill's still grinding on there. Ah, oh, well, always the case when redundancies are on the cards. Yeah, it's just the... it's the uncertainty that's getting to me. I, I, all of a sudden, I feel as if I, I can't plan beyond the end of next week. All right. Hi. No partner in crime this morning? No, just me. Someone's got out of the wrong side of the bed this morning. Well, there's another thing. I mean, if the axe does fall, there's no way I'll be able to continue with all this building work. Our friend, Mr. Shadwick, will be one of the first things to go. Mind if I stick a wash on? Yeah, go ahead. You got anything you want thrown in? No, thanks. What are you doing? Just going through these brochures, you know, about local schools. Private schools? Yeah. You serious about this, aren't you? I've got to be, haven't I? I'm talking about my kids' education here. Yeah, I know, but 
Going private? Never thought today you say that. I know, and I never thought I'd be doing it. Never thought I'd be able to afford it. Never thought I'd be putting a pillar over someone's head either. Hi. Right. This is a bit heavy, isn't it? You okay? Do you mean I'm off my head? No, I meant more menopausal. No, that was buying the flashy car. How old do you have to be to be grown up? Eh? I don't know, mate. Is that what you meant about the pillow? No, Gladys and that. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't know, I just feel as though I'm still learning about life. One lesson of which is every time I try to help somebody, I get it in the teeth. Talking to a fella that dug up a body and had a hand in an explosion which crippled the son of the woman that I wanted to marry. All because I wanted to do Ron Dixon a favour. What am I going to do about our Gemma's future, eh? Well, isn't that why you became a parent governor? Because you believed in state education. I do, but it's going to take years before they sort that school out. I mean, they said that themselves. And by that time, it'll be too late for our Gemma, just like it's too late for Leo. So I've got to give them the best chance I can. That's probably why I became a parent governor in the first place. All right, so it had nothing to do with principles. It was just looking after you and your own. I'm not even going to answer that. Well, like you said, how old you have to be to make grown-up decisions? What do you think? Doesn't look too bad from down here. You what? Well, you could do it toning up a bit. <laughs> hey! Very funny. Come on, pass me the lamp. What is there? Is there much stuff? <sighs> Unfortunately, yeah. Oh, come on then, start passing it down. Look, do we have to do this today? Yes, we have to do it today. We're moving in a week, Max. Oh, come on, get moving. <sighs> My dad's not going to give in, is he? How do you mean? He's not going to get in touch with our Jason, ask him to come home. He's a stubborn man, your dad. But he's just going to go on and on. Why won't he back down? He's got too much of his mother in him. Oh, Jason was right, you know, when he said about you treating us like little kids. You've got to understand, Nick. This is hard for me and your dad. You know, we've spent the last 20 years feeding you, clothing you, telling you where to go and what to do. Don't I know it? Now, all of a sudden, you turn around saying no. We want to do it our way. It's like our opinions don't matter anymore. Of course they do. It doesn't feel like it. I'm sorry for not telling you about the baby. Oh, well, it's over and done with now. You really upset? Yeah, I am, to be honest. I promised I wouldn't say anything. I oh, know. Between me and you, Mum, I wish they'd kept it. Yeah. But it's easy to say when it's not your own, Nick. Yeah, I suppose so. And there's nothing we can do about it now. It's like our Jason said. That's not a decision to make. Hey, it's all right for some, isn't it? What? Were you there doing your crosswords? Got to have something to pass the time, haven't I? Bored stiff in this place. Well, I thought you were bored stiff when you were stuck up in that flat every day. Don't suppose you need any help over the road, do you? Eh, uh, no, not at the moment. Actually, Dad, I've been meaning to tell you. I'm going to be going away for a couple of months soon. A couple of months? What for? Well, Barry's setting up this new club in Birmingham and he wants me to go down there. I'll get it off the ground. Oh, does he now? Very cosy. Hey, it's not like that. Hey, hang on. That means you're going to need someone to run bar, Brookie. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Dad. It's all being arranged. I've got a standing manager coming up to replace me. I mean, I know Rachel's meant to be me covered and all that, but, well, I don't think I could really relax leaving her totally in charge. Oh, yeah? Why not? Oh, Rach, um, I didn't see you there. Obviously. Great. Thanks very much, Dad. You could have told me. <laughs> Rachel. 
Rachel, where are you going? Well, you don't trust me to look after the place. There's no point in being here, is there? I might as well quit. Come on, don't be stupid. I'm not being stupid. <sighs> Rachel, can you just go in the office? <sighs> Rachel, you know I didn't mean it like that. Well, then how did you mean it? <sighs> I don't know. I just meant that I didn't think you were ready to look after a place like this. You haven't had enough experience. In other words, you think I'm crap? Oh, now as if I think you've done brilliant over the last few months. So brilliant that you couldn't relax if I was in charge? Oh, don't be like that. I mean, look at it from my point of view. I'm going to be away from here for at least two months when I go off to have this baby. It's a long time, and I wouldn't expect you to run this place single-handed. No way, I just wouldn't put that on you. I thought that was the part of me getting the promotion. So I could step into your shoes when you're away. Yeah, and you will eventually, but you've got to learn how to do everything first. I do know how to do everything. OK. Could you do a stock take for the brewery? Or work out the course of the VAT returns? Or sort out anyone like the Finnegan brothers? Say it makes sense, Rach. Oh, please, I don't want us to fall out over it. Life's complicated enough as it is. I feel like you and Casey are the only people I can depend on at the minute. Please don't pack in. So who's the other bloke you're getting in? Well, he works for Barry down in Birmingham. I've never actually met him myself. But he's only going to be here for a couple of months and Barry wouldn't send up some no more. Oh, I just don't want to work under someone who thinks they can boss me around all the time. Rachel, he won't. I'll make sure of that. So, you going to stay then? All right, then. Oh, Rachel, that's brilliant. I'm made up. Honest, I am. All right, Jack, you don't have to go overboard. Rachel, did you put this here? Yeah, I opened it by mistake. Huh? When did it come? It was mine, I think. Wow, what's up? I can't believe it. It's a statement from that account I opened for my dad. He's finally started using that money. Please, please tell me you didn't wear them. Oh, these were in at the time, you know. Look, I used to go with my platform shoes. Hey, I bet they're in there somewhere. Oh, Max, don't you dare or I leave you. Bin, bin. All this stuff, you know, I bet it's worth just chucking the lot. Oh, I'm quite enjoying it, really, bringing back a few blasts from the past. Mm. Do you know, I don't believe it. My records. Got the sweet, the stones. T-Rex. Me Osmonds. No, no, <laughs> give me credit. What have you got there? Photo album of his party at Fletcher's. Oh, was that um, about 87? Hmm, must be about that. Patricia's on them. You know, I remember seeing these. I remember you getting them developed. Never thought anything about it at the time. Funny how you see things in retrospect, isn't it? You've got your arm round her. And I showed them to you. She looks terrible in that dress. Short and frumpy. And her roots need doing. Happy days, hmm? Oh, I don't know about that, then. Do you want to keep it for old times' sake? No, I don't think there's anything worth hanging on to there. I think we'll stick it in the bin with the rest of the rubbish, eh? Mm. Hey, hey, I can tell your boss is away. What? Oh, oh, all right, Mick. Talk about a cushy number, then. Yeah, well, the money they pay me here, I'm not going to knock myself out, am I? Anyway, I'm finished in an hour. Uh, 38, please. There you go. All right, Tom. Hi. Listen, I'm glad I've seen you. Uh, I was going to come over to yours later. Have you still got a brochure for that school your daddy went to? Well, okay. the one in Formby? Mm. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look. Bell organised all that stuff. Yeah, I've got a couple in the house, you know. I was going through them this morning. Just, you know, get an idea of what you get for your money. So, you're still going ahead with it, then? It looks more and more that way, yeah. Is this a uh, private school you're on about, like? Yeah, I'm thinking of selling our gym on there. Oh, really? Brookside Comprehensive, not good enough for you now you got your big posh motor, eh? You are? 
Doesn't take long, does it, eh? A few bob, soon forget your roots. What's that supposed to mean, man? To be off down a golf club next with all the blue rinses. Look, hang on you. I'm sick of people telling me that I've sold out. All I'm trying to do is make a better life for my kids, all right? Because no matter how hard they work, no matter what exams they get, they're always going to be treated as second-class citizens by people like you. Me? What have I done? And if I've got to pay to give them a head start in life, then fine, I'll do it. Now, have you got a problem with that? Excuse me. I didn't deserve that. Has he got a chip on his shoulder or what? Hang on, will you? Me, wait. Look, I'm sick of everyone making side comments about my politics. I wasn't talking about that. Well, well, I wasn't thinking before, you know, when you were going on about being grown up and, well, the pillow and Gladys. Well, it's the 1st of July, isn't it? Gladys' anniversary and... Yeah, time flies, it? I mean, I could have been a bit more understanding. Fair enough, so you've been great. You're a good mate. I came to see Cassie, but, um, looks like she's taking the day off. Well, maybe you should have done that. No, mate, I want to keep going. It's one of the things where you know that if you sit down and take a break for five minutes, it all comes flooding back. Sounds a bit grown up, that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, well, look, if there's anything I can do... I'll whistle. Cheers, mate. See you later. You know it's your nan's birthday tomorrow, don't you, love? Yeah, but it's not going to be much fun either, is he? Well, she's coming over. It's already arranged. We're meant to be doing a barbecue. Better nip into town and get her a card. Will you put RJ's name on as well? Yeah, all right. God knows what I'm going to say if he's not here. I mean, I'm going to be all right. She's seen her all before, hasn't she? So she always says... She's not that liberal, love. <sighs> Do you mind finishing these off? I want to go and have a word with your dad. What's happening? Tools down, eh? All right, love. What's going on? You haven't done much, have you? I'm shattered. My back's killing me. Why don't you leave it for today? Put your feet up for a couple of hours. I'm still going to be here tomorrow, innit? I've got this lots of shift yet. We can't stay out here. Yeah, well, at least come and have a cup of tea. No point in you being out here all on your own. No, I suppose not. Come on, stick the kettle on. Stuff. Well, there's no point cluttering up the new house, is there? Mm. True. Mm. Just think, in a week, we'll be away from this place. Oh, I can't believe it's all happening so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what our new neighbours will be like. Oh, it's bound to be a Ron Dixon. Mm. Oh, God forbid. <laughs> oh, oh, look. Mm -hmm. Oh. These are the cards Matthew and Emily did for you when you had your appendix out, remember? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Emily was always better than Matthew at drawing, wasn't she? <laughs> they spent hours on these. Is there a box I can keep them in safely? Yeah, well, I've come across a few other bits and pieces in here. Hmm. I wonder if our new baby will be artistic. Well, there's not long to find out. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Ten weeks. <laughs> You're happy. Ecstatic. Mm. Uh, better get back out there in a minute and get them bricks moved. You'll never manage that lot on your own. Case of having to, innit? I don't know. Is it? I'm not going crawling back to our Jason if that's what you're getting at. If he wants to leave his job and his home, that's fine by me. He'll soon realise what he's done. Yeah, but what if he doesn't? Nothing I can do about that. You could phone him. You could ask him to come home. After the way he spoke to me, I don't think so. Oh, well, right, Sky, what are you doing now? Taking a well earned break. I'm going now, Mum, so I'll see you later. Me you off. To get me Nana card. It's her birthday tomorrow. She's coming over. Oh, the barbecue, I forgot all about it. See you later, Mum. See you, babe. Bye, love. Thank God for our Nicky, eh? I'd have been stuck there. That went completely out of my head. Oh, man. I suppose we have had other things to think about, though, haven't we? Yeah. She was talking about going to college earlier on. Yeah. She think about going down south, near London or somewhere. London? What's wrong with around here? We're here, aren't we? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, can't you see? They're growing up, all three of them. They don't want us telling them what to do and where to go anymore. They're old enough to make their own minds up. Do you think they are? 
They are. Look, I don't like what our Jason's done just as much as you. But he's 20 years of age. He's a grown man. We cannot keep telling him what to do with his life. Look, I want him home, Greg, where he belongs. I don't want to lose my son because the two of us were too stubborn to back down. I'll have to get back. Ali Sim's still going mad if them bricks are still there. All right, Jack. Is it all right if I have a sarnie made up? Oh, yeah. You've got nothing in. Um, yeah, no all right. Just a bows. Hey, guess what? What? I was going through my mail before. And look. What? It's a statement of that account open for me dad. He's finally started using it. What? Brilliant, eh? It's about time he saw sense. Let's have a look. Although God knows what he's been spending it on. He's been taking out £400 a day by the looks of it. Not to have a word. Why? Well, time to slow down. There'll be nothing left. Look, Jack, I wouldn't if I were you. Why? Well, you know what he's like. It's a big deal to him, isn't it? Taking money off his daughter. I don't know, is it? I mean, he asked me for it enough times. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's just a question of pride with him. Here he is now. Look, Jack, don't be saying anything to him. Just leave him to it, all right? What are you on about? It's in my name. My dad must know that I get the statements. So it's not like it's a big secret that he's been using it. All right, love. Pint of lager, please. Yep, coming right up. Suppose you want one and all, eh? No. Oh, wonders will never cease. Are you sick or something? Yeah, very funny. Dad, you know this morning when you were talking about starting a new business? Yeah. Well, you haven't got something in mind, have you? Who, me? No. Not in a particular way. I was just wondering. I got a statement off that account this morning. What account? The one I opened for you. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, the maid will be finally come round and started using it, cos it's yours every penny. What are you on about, Jack? The money in the account I opened for you. I see you finally started dipping into it. I haven't been using the money. What? No, that's me. Back up, that. In case I get fined over this explosion. I haven't touched a penny. But... but where's it gone, then? Uh, hello, this is Jason's mum. Could you ask him to give me a call, please? Right, thanks. Bye. I'm telling you, Jackie, I threw that card away months ago. But how can you have? Look, Dad, it says here, withdrawal on Manor Park. Withdrawal on Manor Park? Someone's been getting the money out. Yeah, well, it wasn't me. Well, the bank must have made a mistake then, because if you cut the card up... No, hang on, hang on. I didn't say I cut the card up. What? I just lashed it in the bin. Bloody hell, Dad, are you stupid? And what did you do with the number? Oh, no, tell me you're only joking. Well, I was all wound up about it, wasn't I? I wasn't thinking straight. You threw the number away with the card, which you didn't even cut up in half. Yeah. Well, that's it, then. Somebody's got it. Someone round here, by the looks of it. And they're helping themselves to my money. I don't believe it. Don't worry, Dad. I'll phone the bank and the police. If they know which cash point they've been using, it's not going to be that hard. They'll soon suss out who it is. Well, as we leave Mike looking a little flushed, coming up next on four designs on your loo, when Richard Seymour and Dick Powell aim to leave us sitting pretty by giving a whole new look to the lavatory.
Thank you. Oh, nice, Dad. Where have you been? On the social. Oh. On the scrounge again, are you? I'm not going to be able to scrounge anything for months. What do you mean? Well, I've just found out not only have I got to pay everything back plus a penalty on top, I'm not even entitled to a hardship payment to tide me over. Have you ever tried getting yourself a job? Yeah, but there should be some sort of safety net for people like me. For pensioners who are on the breadline, more like, not for people who screw the system. Hiya. Hiya, love. Didn't know you were in. I want boiling. You all right? How's things? Well, I've just been telling me dad that I'm not entitled to any benefits, even though I haven't even got a job. Yeah, you'd still have one if you hadn't been so greasy. Yeah, well, Jack, listen, I was thinking of... Don't even ask me. Well, if you'd have paid me more money... Michael, I was paying you what the job was worth. Yeah, all right, all right. I think we've done this to death, haven't we? Are you OK? Yeah, I've just got a bit of a headache, that's all. Is it horse in here or is it just me? It's you. No wonder with all this gear you've got on. Look at you. Do you want a drink? Yeah, Aim, can I have an orange juice, please? Anyway, the bank reckon that the cash card has been getting used round here. Marvellous, isn't it, eh? Never had this trouble when we just had a bank passbook. Good old days, eh, Pop? Anyway, I'm gonna go and read these. Yeah, while you're at it, why don't you see if you can find yourself a job? Yeah, OK. Listen, you know, when you say the bank said the money was being taken from round here, where exactly do you mean? Believe it or not, the petrol station. Where I work? Well, that's it, then, isn't it? We can find out who's doing it. How? Well, they've got a security camera. We can look at the tapes. Well, when? In a minute, when I'm back on duty. We'll go through the tapes, and with a bit of luck, we'll catch the master criminal at it. about giving our new place a name or something more evocative of our new lifestyle. Hmm. Sumax. What? Sumax. You know, <laughs> like, um, Beveron. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> right, I'm just going to get another box from the car. Got it from the restaurant. It's for the books. Are you happy, Max? Very much so. I wonder what time Warren exchanges contracts. It's purgatory waiting. Uh, before the end of business today. Once we've exchanged, I know it's for real. We'll be on our way. <laughs> mm Max. Hi. <laughs> Look at the state of this. Well, where's it all come from? Well, Shadwick and Son, builders and general refuse collectors. It's a disgrace. Talk of the devil. All right, lads. What's all this doing here? It's fencing. Yeah. No. I know what it is. What is it doing here? I don't know, really. Um, Tommy Mac might have dropped it off. Now I need the phone, really. Yeah, well, rather than argue whether Tommy Mac dropped it off or not, could you move it, please? Why? Because it's ruining my hedge. Well, you're moving, aren't you? But that's not the point. So what is the point? To get the cake, Greg? Hold on a minute, love. Well, you must admit, it, it does look a bit untidy. It's wood. It's natural. What's the problem? Mrs Shadwick. Uh... Margie. No, uh, sorry, I, I don't want to be awkward, but this wood, it, it looks rather unsightly. I know, we'll get it shifted. I was getting round to it. <laughs> Thanks, Maggie. Hey, Margie, whatever you do, don't call me after today. <laughs> You'll have to get it moved, love. Your mum's boss, is it? Oh, she's here? Yeah. I was going to. I just don't like people like him telling me to. Did you get the cake? Yeah, it's in the van. I'll bring it in, now. Where's our Jason? I haven't spoken to him. Well, it's his nan's birthday, he should be here. Well, he might just turn up then, mightn't he? Well, if he does turn up, try and keep it civil, eh, love, eh? Started packing already, then? Yeah, it's all happening. Must 
got tons of stuff to move, I bet. Yeah, we've got another removal phone coming this afternoon to give us an estimate. Well, listen, if you need a hand with anything, don't, don't hesitate to ask. Oh, thanks. And if you feel like a drink later on, I could do with the company. Sure. Um, any more news on the redundancy threat? Yeah. Yeah, the merger's gone through. I see. Where does that leave you? Well, I'm still not sure, but worrying about it isn't going to help me. Well, have you started looking for another job yet? Uh, no. No, I haven't. <sighs> Ollie, the, uh, <laughs> the job market's really tough. If I were you, I wouldn't wait for somebody to decide my future for me yet. Look, I'll, um, I'll come back for the other boxes, yeah? You shouldn't have. You're joking, aren't you? You'd have killed us if we hadn't bought anything. <laughs> Too nice, I would. Come on, now. Hold your horses. I want to keep the paper. Oh, wait, yes. Waste not, want not. You should have just bought it a roll of wrapping paper. <laughs> you watching it, my lad? You're not too old for slack bottom. Oh, that's gorgeous. A food mixer. The other one's on its last legs. Well, that was steam driven, wasn't it? <laughs> Has it got a plug on it? Yes, Nan. And all the gadgets are with it as well. Oh. Thank you mm. very much, both of you. Mm. And thanks for your card. Will you make us a chocolate fudge cake now you've got your new mixer? Of course I will, darling. And some scans. Hey, don't be putting it under pressure. It's not pressure. You know I love cooking. And you could have bought your Nana pleasant instead of getting her to make your stuff. Dad, <clears throat> I'm skint. I'm trying to save for me holiday, remember? Look, don't spoil the birthday. I suppose I better get the barbie lit then. Eh, uh, what about the rubbish out front? Oh, yeah, it looks the right side, son. Well, our Jason can tidy it if he turns up. Where is our Jason, anyway? Oh, um, I'll go and check the big spots. What's going on? They found out about the abortion. Oh, how's Katrina? She's not too bad. I suppose your mum and dad hit the roof. What about? Hey. Look, I know all about Jason and Katrina's um, problem. Who told you? What have you done with the matches? What have I said? Your mum knows about Jason and Katrina. How? Look, I, I've got to be somewhere. I won't be long. The kids told me before they went to the clinic. Before? Oh, Jess, you should have told us. That's right. You should have told us everyone finding out before me. Here you go, our kid, and one receipt. Thanks a lot. Right. Tell her now. Hey, Dad. All right, love. Uh, are you feeling OK? Yeah. You don't look it. Yeah, well, I think I might have a bit of a cold coming on. Yeah, well, keep well away from me, OK? So we're going to have a look at these security tapes, then? Mm-hmm. I'm glad you come over, cos I've had a look at a few of them. Oh, yeah? Anything interesting? No, not yet. But you can see the people clearly on them? Yeah, but that's no use, is it? I mean, how can I tell which one's got me card? Because I have got the exact dates and times here. So all we've got to do is be patient and wait till he or she shows up on the camera. Hey, can I just nip the loo first? Yeah, and then we'll get to the bottom of this, eh? You took your time, didn't you? Oh, don't give me case now. Yeah, it's done, eh? Oh, Strain. Sure, right. Just a present for me now. You should go over and give it to her yourself. No. I've got to come home sometime. We'd have to get over everything. Oh, why, yeah? My nan will smooth things out. But how can she? She's already told me that, that she knows everything. What did my dad have to say about that? Yeah, he's a bit upset, but he's not going to kick off too much with my nan there, is he? Mm. Jay's just come home. It'll be all right. I'll phone Trina. If she comes round, I'll think about it. Right, I'll fast forward to Lacey in 05. All right, mate, with you now. Look, I'll have to get this tank of delivery sorted out. All right. Give us a shout if you see anything.
Oh, no, what happened? It was the machine. I chews it off. Oh. I couldn't see a thing. Flaming useless, isn't it? Look, I'm sorry, Dad, but I can't sit here all day looking at these. No, of course you can't. Don't blame me, love. Anyway, we tried, didn't we? Suppose we'd better leave it up to the bank to investigate. Yeah. Uh, look, I'll just nip to the loo and then I'll get off. The toilet again? Are you sure you're all right? Dad, just stop worrying. What is it, um, woman trouble, like? Yeah, um, you could say that. Look, if you bump into our Michael before I do, we tell him to pop in and see me. Yeah. Yeah. Come home, have you? Oh, Craig. It was easy to see you, Jess. Oh, hello, love. I'm really made up you've come. Yeah, and that chocolate. Ooh, thank <laughs> you. Can you bring that fence in now from the front, please? Yeah, sure. Do you want a hand? No, nah, it's okay. You can help us with the food, Nick. Yeah, see you soon. Greg, the baby's come round, making efforts. She's right, son. Mother, I know you got yourself involved in this business. Maybe you don't know the full story. I know all about it. And do you really think they could have come and talked openly with you? They could have tried, yeah. They're young. They make mistakes. We all do. Oh, you mean like the Derbyshire incident? That's enough, Gregory. Don't go on about things you don't understand. I don't understand. That's because no one ever tells me. Hi, Dad. Hi, Nan. Hi, babe. Hello, darling. Happy birthday. Mm. Oh, you shouldn't go wasting your pocket money on me. Oh, I'm not wasting it. Have you made that Olympic team yet? Our times are down. I won last week away with a tree. Yeah, three seconds slower, though. Three seconds? That's not like you, love. I won the period, man. All right, don't sell the world. It's only nature, Greg. Yeah, but we don't need to hear about it. Oh, that's nice. I hope you like this. Nan? Excuse you. Happy birthday, Mr. Shadley. Hiya, Nan. Hiya. Hiya. Hello, Katrina. Sneak around the back, did you? Sure did. Oh, it's my lover boy, Tom. What's oh, got all his best ones on? You can tell you next to the CD player now, can't you? <laughs> Come on, should we go and play it? Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Let's go and give it a blast, eh? Yeah, not too loud, eh? You won't play it loud. Good. Then we'll all stay happy. Right. I'm going to go and get cleaned up. Shall I watch the barbecue? No, last time you put it out, so we'll leave it alone, eh? Mum, you still me heading. Oh, you'll have to give him time, love. He's just being a knack. Look, this stuff with you and Katrina is found hard. Look. I can understand that. But I can't have him giving Katrina the hard time. And if he carries on, I'm gonna have to say something. <sighs> right, if you'd like to put the estimate in the post, I'd be very grateful. Goodbye. Bye bye. Right. One more removals estimate to go, and it's make your mind up time. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello, Warren. How are you? Beg your pardon? You're choking. What is it, Max? OK, Warren, yeah. Yeah, yeah well... Bye-bye. Well, what's happened? Robbie and Trish have split up. Oh. Pulled out of the sale. Oh, they can't. They can, and they have. Oh, but... But, uh, look, let's not dwell on it right now. These things happen. Don't they just... Dad. Afternoon. 
Yeah, listen, I was uh, wondering if you could give me the name of someone down the legion, you know, with a bit of clout. Not thinking of joining, are you? No, I was thinking of going down to see if there's any bar work. Oh, I doubt it. They just chuck two on. Place is chock a block with fellas watching the World Cup. Oh, fair dues. Just so long as you know I'm actively seeking work. Trying to impress me, you mean? Can I take this? 55. So. Um, has our Jackie heard any more about this cash card business? No, we're still none the wiser. I'd be surprised if she does get anywhere. Still, at least the card's been stopped now, so the scab can't nick any more money off me. So that's the end of that, then, eh? Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, uh, our Jacqueline wants to work with you. What about? I don't know. She just said I never saw you to pass the message on. Mum, I'm just going to go and get changed. Take me on your phone, please. Right. Put it in the dirty washing, love. OK. Can I have a cuppa, please, son? Yeah. Hey, you two. It's rude to whisper. Oh, Greg, weren't you young once? Yeah, but I had manners. You cool? Pay no attention to him. Feel on the way. Don't you be worrying. How are you feeling after it all, anyway, love? I feel OK. Thought I'd feel a bit rough, but... She would have felt better if my mum and dad hadn't kicked off on it. How did they find out? I've heard this bit. It's going to my nose. Uh, yeah, I took. I borrowed some money for me to have him be sussed in. Oh, love. Why didn't you come to me? Oh, I didn't think you'd be up for that, man. I just could have predicted your dad would be like this. Well, it all went mental. And the only reason I'm here is because Anna Nicky talked me into it. And ask Katrina, really? Great. It's like she says. Well, she won't be. Sometime soon she'll start to feel bad about it. You know, she start wondering what the child would have been like, whether it would have been a boy or a girl, all that sort of thing. Nah, not Katrina. She will, love. I know. Thanks. Hey, Max. Are you OK? Oh. Would you like a drink? A uh, glass of Rioja, please. I'm afraid we've had a bit of bad news. Go on. The sale of the house has fallen through. Oh, no, why? Oh, domestic between the prospective buyers and it oh. all off. Oh, that's awful. <sighs> yeah, you're telling me. <clears throat> Thank you. How's Susanna taking it? Well, not too well. Uh, she's pretty quiet about it. Is that a good or a bad sign? <laughs> I'm not sure. But if it's all right with you, I'll just stay for this one drink and then I'll get back to it, if you don't mind. Yeah, you get back as soon as you like, don't mind me. Jimmy? Yeah, come in. Close the door. How's it going? Not very well. Why? Is there something you want to tell me? Um, what about? I know, Michael. You know what? You took me dad's car, didn't you? You're off your head. You took it and you know you did and you've probably still got it. I haven't got any card. Oh, what have you done with it then? Chucked it away? <sighs> this is crap. Oh, just have the decency. <sighs> and the honesty to admit it. Jackie, this is bang out of order. Michael, you're on the security camera at the petrol station. I've just been over there and seen the tape. Ow! Ow! What's wrong? Oh, it's been so much. It's killing me. What is it? <sighs> Right, I'm getting an ambulance. No, don't you dare. Jackie, this isn't right. Like I said, no. Right, we're going to the doctor's then. Oh, this is terrible. Come on, cool, Jack. Oh. Where's your car keys? There. Right, I'd better get back. Sorry to detain you. That's all right, Max. Go back to Susanna. Just hope I can raise the spirits. Oh. Come on, Jack, you'll be all right. Come on. Jack, you all right? No. Jackie, are you all right? She's got a bit of a stomach ache. Yeah, well, spotted Dr. Ross. Now, if you can move off the way, we'll get her down the quacks. Mike, can we just go? I'll take her if you like. No, it's all right, Max. We've got air car. I really don't mind. Max, you don't have to play the good Samaritan now. Come on. Max, I'll be all right. Are you sure? I'm positive. A call. Um, if there's anything I can do. <sighs> Poor girl. I hope she'll be all right. Yeah, so do I. That was very nice of you. Do I to take her? Yeah, I've just been neighbourly. Um, right, get my jacket. Bye. See you. 
You taking your mum home, or shall I do it? Are you going already? Yeah, I'm going down the club. And I'll get a cab if you want. No, I'll run you. The way you've behaved today, it's wonders she didn't go ages ago. Listen, I don't know why everyone's been so normal about this abortion business. We're all upset about it, son. But we're all keeping our feelings to ourselves. Yeah, well, maybe that's what's wrong in this house. Nobody says what they really feel. Yeah, well, if we did, World War Three break house. Yeah, well, at least it'd be honest. Families aren't supposed to be honest. That's what keeps them together. Yeah, well, despite your little theory, there's a few things from the past we could all be honest about. I'll get me coat, shall I? What was that all about? Doesn't matter. Will you stop being so narky? Listen, you lot might want to be honest about this, but I'm going to be. I can't just forget what our Jason's done. I'm still upset with him, all right? Yeah. And which bit are you upset with the most? The abortion? The fact he didn't tell you? Or he took your money to pay for it? All of it. It's called dishonesty. I can't just switch off and treat Jason and Katrina like nothing's happened. Well, you behaving like this isn't helping them get over it. <sighs> they seem well over it to me, laughing and joking out there. Oh, Greg, put a lid on it. He left home the other night, and we've got him back. It's got nothing to do with me. You know, if you keep this up, he's gonna go again. And next time, maybe he won't come back. She's got something wrong with her stomach. I wanted to go to the hospital, but... Michael, it's OK. You leave me here, I'll be all right. Well, I've got the car. Yeah, well, I'll get a taxi. No, it's all right. I'll wait for you, dear. <sighs> OK. It'll be all right. I'll take it in to see the doctor. Oh. Susanna? Yeah? What's wrong, Max? It's, uh, it's Jackie. She's not very well. Why? Well, how do you know? As I was leaving the bar, uh, Mike was taking her to the doctors. Well, how is she? Well, she didn't look too good. Oh, we've got to go and see her. But hold on, she's with Mike. We can't just turn up at the doctors. No, I need to see her. Please, look, let's just sit tight and we'll just wait until she contacts us. We could blow everything, darling. Could you phone me an ambulance, please, to take the lady to the maternity unit? <clears throat> um, you can leave me now. They're off the beds. They're on about sending you in an ambulance to the maternity unit. Oh, I. Why have you got to go down there? Why can't you just go to casualty? It's weird, isn't it? Michael. So that's what this is all about. You didn't want me to phone for an ambulance because you knew they'd take you to the maternity unit, didn't you? Look. You're pregnant? Yeah. OK. I'm pregnant. Who's the father? Having a baby, eh? Well, now we've both got something my dad doesn't want to know about, haven't we? With just a week to go till the brand new series of Friends, a chance to whet your appetite next on four as Friday comedy kicks off with that Ross and Rachel cliffhanger at the Beach House. Once he's checked out. All right, then. Thanks. Bye. What are you? I don't 
don't want to bump into Ollie Simpson after lie through my teeth about your father getting another job. So I'll take some room with him. You do, can not Yeah, they won't even look at each other. I sent him somewhere on a maintenance job. Hold on, will you? Now I know where all Emily gets to see you from. <laughs> hey, there's a hairdressing show on a bar blue key tonight. Do you fancy it? Yeah, all right. Not that it needs an excuse to get out the house. Your father's miserable gobs enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not here, Kylie. It must be somewhere. It's not my own work. Away, love. Look at the kip of these. Who in the right mind's going to employ someone whose shoes have fallen to bits? Dad, they're interviewing you for a teaching job. They're not bothered about what you've got on your feet. Mm. Hello. Oh, William Corkle. Fan mail, kid. I thought that might have been the new hearing date for our Kylie. Still waiting to hear. Oh, well, you'll hear soon enough, won't you? Right. So, he's got to go for his MMR injections. Says here he should have had a nine month checkup and all. I've got to give that to your mother, she can make an appointment. Yeah, of course. Right, I'm off. Don't like to leave anything to chance. I like to be there in plenty of time for me interviews. Come here, Dad. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thanks, kid. I'll need it. As long as the rain keeps off, I'll be OK. Otherwise, I'll be squelching my way into those interviews, won't I? Yeah. Right, I'll see you later. See ya. OK. Thank you. Bye. Jackie's already left the hospital. She must have gone back to work. Do you think we should go round there and check that she's all right? Um, maybe you should. I, I think it's better if I steer clear, especially with me nearly putting my foot in it last <sighs> week with Mike. I mean, we're so close now. We can't risk having the truth come out. I'll go then. Oh, hope everything's OK. I'm sure it will. So you're going to tell me exactly what's going on? I'll do your windscreen for a pound if you like. Why don't you just throw the whole bucket over them? You know what? They're splashing water all over the place. Oh, come on, it's only a couple of drops. Just take care, will you? All right, Cass. Yeah. That's it. What's up with her? Asked her for some clean water before she nearly threw it at me. Yeah, well, it's come up to a year since Gladys died, remember? Oh, yeah. Well, you better keep your distance then, mate. You don't want all that kicking off again, do you? See you later. Is there anything all right? What's it got to do with you? Hey, look, I'm only asking. Just seemed a bit wound up, that's all. Yeah, well, so would you be if you'd been here since half past five this morning. I'll be fine once I knock off. Is that about your mum? You know, anniversary, isn't it? I don't need a day to remind me about my mum. I think about it every day. I know that, guys. I just thought you might be feeling it more at the moment. Look, if you want someone to talk to, you know I am. I don't think that's a good idea, do you? Um, the hospital says I'd be all right now. I've just got to take the antibiotics and I'll be fine. Don't you think you should take a few days off? Yeah, well, I've decided to finish work until after the baby's born. Um, I'm going to Birmingham for a couple of months. Birmingham? Yeah, well, there's a few things I want to source up with Barry. You know, business and that. Well, spending time with Barry Grant doesn't seem to me to be the best way to look after your health. I'll be fine. I'll be able to take it easy and think through a few ideas I've had. I've already told me Dad that's where I've been all weekend, so if he asks you anything, just back me up, OK? Did you, um, Did you mention anything to him about the money? No. As far as he's concerned, someone else did it. Wouldn't do his health much good if he found out his own son had dropped his money off him. Hey, don't you start. You had him off for 50 grand. Hey, don't you be comparing yourself with me. You didn't have gangsters with guns after you. And besides, I'll pay him back every penny. Yeah, and so will I. Well, as long as that money gets put straight back on that account, I won't say anything about it. Oh, yeah, and um, only us two, Casey and Rachel, know about me being pregnant. And I want to keep it that way, OK? So who's is it? It's just some lads who are messing town. I'll tell you what, my mum and dad would be really proud if they found out about us two, wouldn't they? Yeah, well, let's make sure they don't. I'll be having this baby adopted. And if you pay me dad all his money back, then they'll never need to know about any of it. OK? Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you later. See ya. Do you want to come to the hair show, Barbara, here tonight? It's not really my scene. Oh, just come and have a laugh. Is Eleanor going? Doubt it. She's got loads of work on. Pity. After a few drinks, she might have changed her mind about giving me a lift to the airport to pick Marcus up. He's back from the States tomorrow. Won't she take you, then? I think she's scared about what Ollie might say. I mean, I'm only wanting to pick my dad up from the airport. What's the big deal? 
Ollie obviously doesn't like her spending any time with Marcus. If I was Ollie, though, I'd be asking myself why I'm so paranoid. Do you mind holding the floor for a minute? I've just got to go somewhere. Of course not. Is everything OK? Yeah, yeah. Um, just something I need to sort out now. Hold it on. See ya. Yeah? Those are better come and tell you. Mandy's just fun. She's decided to take that job on the cruise stand now. Oh, she can't. Oh, she's going to give us more notice than this. It could take us ages to find the right stylist to replace her. I'm more concerned about the show tonight. How am I going to manage without her? Well, you have to cancel it. No, not if I can get the models in early enough. I'll have to work on them around the appointments. Wish me luck. I'll see, see you later. Ya. What's up? Oh, just a few problems in the salon. Don't you think you should be taking things a bit easier? Especially after that scare you had. I am. Um, I decided to go to Birmingham tomorrow. Tomorrow? So when's the new manager arriving then? Sometime this afternoon. So the bet's just been a barmaid again? No, I'll make sure he knows that you're keeping an eye on things for me. Oh, great. I've gone from being the assistant manager to your spy. Rachel, I explained everything the other day. There's a lot involved in the running of the bar. Like, what if there was a piece of the trouble we had at the Finnegan's? At least with Barry's fella here, I won't have to worry about you having to deal with anything like that on your own. I suppose so. So will you keep an eye on things for me then? Yeah, OK. Cheers. Before you start, I'm feeling all right. The hospital will give me the all clear. Oh. And you're sure it was just a urinary tract infection? There are no other complications? Nope. The antibiotics will clear it up. There's nothing else to worry about. Just over doing things here. Actually, no, that's where you're wrong. I'm just making sure everything's OK before I go to Chester. You're going earlier than planned. Yeah, well, after the other day, I think it's time I started taking it easy. Oh, well, that's marvellous news. We've been so worried. Do you want me to arrange things with Lisa? No, I've already rang her to see if she minds me coming a few weeks earlier. And she was OK about that? Yeah, she seemed fine. But I still can't help feeling that I... Um, we might be imposing on her, though. Nonsense. She's looking forward to having you to stay. Are you sure? Oh, absolutely. Now, you just take care and don't go overdoing things, will you? Won't. And I think you've made the right decision. The sooner you get away from this place, the better. Bye. Bye. What are you doing here? I was worried about you. The way you were acting before. Well, don't be. I was fed up, that's all. It felt like being near me mum. I like it here. It's really peaceful. Just come down, and make sure everything's okay, and tell me, Mum, what's happening. Did you hear? Yeah, me and the kids called by the other day, you know. Thanks, that's kind of you. I'd hoped they were off Hardy Lane. I thought Aidan and Tanya might have called back on a fleeting visit or something. Sorry. Don't be. I'm used to disappointment by now. <sighs> Seems like they've just put it all behind them and forgot all about it. They'll never forget you, man. I know I won't. Do you mean that? Of course I do. I didn't know for all that long, but I thought the world of her. This time last year, I still had me mum, Annie Lane, Aunt Tanya. Now I'm all on my own. I've lost them all within 12 months. You know, me and the kids are always there if we need someone. After what I did to you, don't you hate me? Of course I don't. I wouldn't blame you if you did. Not after everything I said about you and all the things I accused you of. She was your mum, Cass. And you thought what you did was right. Whether it was or not, it's what she wanted. I can't see now that that's why you did it. I went through all of that for her. Right, so that's all confirmed then. OK? Yeah, see you on the 21st. Bye-bye. Who was that? Uh, that um, was the restaurant. Uh, just checking to see everything was all right. Hey, I've got some great news. Jackie is going to Chester earlier than planned. Oh, good. How is she? 
Oh, she's fine. She insisted on working and to get everything sorted out before she goes off. Well, you can't blame her for trying to do that, can you? Oh, it all adds to the stress, though. Hmm. What have got all this stuff out for? What are you doing with my birth certificate? Oh, no, no, no. Um, I was trying to find my inoculation certificates. I'm sure it's not ten years since the last time I had chaps. Oh, I know what you're up to. You're not getting out of having those needles. I'm going to ring up and book us in for next week. You big coward! If you don't have the jabs, you won't be able to go on holiday. Is, uh, is Jackie around? Uh, yeah, she's in her office. Bruno, I'm the relief manager. I'm Rachel, the manageress. Well, I was. Very so Jackie was the manager. Bruno? Yeah. Hiya, we've been expecting you. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Barry said I should get this first. What? So you're the licensee now? Only temporarily. <sighs> Rachel, the license has to be transferred to whoever's in charge. It's the law. Hey, that looks great. You fancy putting the rest up? Um, I'll be around tonight to show you the ropes and Rachel will help you out with anything while we're gone. Bryce said I'll be around for a couple of months. Um, yeah, something like that. You also told me about your condition and that you want to keep him quiet. Oh, right, um, yeah, I do. He seemed to think you were a bit special and that I was to look out for you. Oh, really? Well, the two of you are obviously very close, or were. Um, no, not really. Rach, will you show Bruno around, please? Um, if there's anything you want to ask, I'll be in the office. OK, thanks. OK. Right, so you're my guide, then? Yeah. The kitchen's uh, this way, I presume? Yeah, just through there. Should we go and have a look? We shouldn't have had to watch my mum suffer the way she did. She was adamant she didn't want to go into a hospital, though, and refused all offers of a nurse. <laughs> that was her choice, but it didn't mean she had to end her life in agony, though, did it? When someone's that ill, you don't have many choices. Not even the right to choose when you die. How can that be right? It isn't. And your mum knew that. That's why me and Elaine helped her. She'd have done it herself if she wasn't so weak at the end. I can't imagine what it must have been like to make that decision. It's been hard to live with, but I know we did the right thing. Even though it cost you your marriage and nearly put you in prison. I've gone over and over countless times since it all happened. I've got no regrets, guys. I'd like to think that I'd have had the courage to do what you did. Really? I keep thinking how this has affected our Elaine. I'm scared I'll never see her because she can't face me. Wherever she is, she's trying to come to terms with it all. She'll be thinking about you and your mum, and hopefully one day she'll come back and see you. How can you think so well of people? After everything she's done to you and all the trouble I've caused you, <laughs> you still can forgive us both. I'm no saint, Cass. You're a good person. That's why my mum took to you so well. She always was a good judge of character. I'm obviously not. Not the way I hated you so much. God, if she's watching over us, I just hope she can forgive me. I think the only thing she'd never forgive any of us for is the way we've drifted apart. I know. So let's put that right, then, eh? Does that mean we're not enemies anymore? You've never been my enemy, Cass. After everything I've done to you? You lost your mum, then your sister. Just needed someone to blame. Sorry, Mick. I really am. I think I'll go and have a quick word with Peter before the start. Make sure his nerves aren't getting to him. <laughs> so, have you managed to persuade Alan to pick Marks up from the airport with you? There's no use in me even asking again. She's too worried about upsetting Ollie. Mm -hmm. He's already sulking because I told him Marcus was due back from the States soon. He'd be glad if you never saw him again, or me for that matter. No, I don't believe that. Why not? Then the two of them would be left in peace to get on with it. He's even started asking me what my plans are and have I got any further with a place at university. Well, he's probably just interested. Have you decided whether or not you're going to university? <laughs> Don't you start trying to get rid of me as well. Be soft. I'll go and get the drinks in. 
Can you deal with these, please, Raquel? Rachel. Sorry. Hi. Hiya. That glass is dirty. Can you get the customer a clean one, please? Yeah, of course. Any trouble? Just give me a shout. Who's that whopper? Bruno. Someone Barry sent to keep an eye on things. I mean, does he love himself or what? Well, there's certainly plenty to love. And thanks for the introduction. Katie, he's foul. You're only saying that because you pinched your job. Hey, our Jackie should have given me my job back instead of giving it to some sad poser. I know. I should be running this place, not some outside. I mean, what does he know? Had a grand for the stars. Yeah, it's just not fair. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Style House's Hairdressing Exhibition Night, sponsored by Barb Rocky. We'll be presenting you with some stunning new hairstyles, so if any of you are searching for that new look, tonight might be your lucky night. Oh. Yeah. I'm so glad that Jackie is going to stay with Lisa in Chester, and now she can just concentrate on the pregnancy. And we can relax. Mm, still so much to worry about, though. I mean, we haven't even discussed the plans for adopting the baby. Well, we can always arrange that later, after the baby's born. Yes, but we need to be ready. And then there's the house. We need to find a buyer. Well, uh, the estate agents can always fax us if somebody puts an offer in. Uh, but what if they don't? I mean, we could be stuck here. And we need to be off the close by the time we get the baby. We will, I promise. Look, why don't we just go away on holiday without the worry of it all hanging over us? We can deal with all that when we get back. Fully rested and ready for anything. I'm starting to wonder whether I'm even fit to be a teacher. I mean... I can be wrong to love her and all that, but I just feel a phony, mate. I mean, there's me, you know, trying to teach the kids right from wrong, and, well, I'm there under false pretenses, aren't I? No one could be rumbled at any time. If the school finds out about me past, I'm going to be out on my ear. I thought you'd had the police check all boxed off. Yeah, I'm through all that, but well, it's bound to come on top at some point, isn't it? Well, your past shouldn't matter. You'd make a great teacher. Yeah, but it's not enough if you haven't got the right pieces of paper. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a big thank you to our beautiful models. Hopefully, we'll see you all again at the Style House. Thanks very much. Thank you. Hey, if you're going away, you're going to miss me dad's hearing over this explosion, aren't you? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, if I turn up, you might suss out that I'm pregnant. Well, you better come up with a good story, then. How do you think he'll get on? Well, he's going to get fine. That's a dead set. But it's just a question of how much. And seeing as he's got no money in his own name, he can't really take that much off him, can he? I wish I could be there, eh? He's having to lie to him. Well, you're getting good at telling all these lies these days. Um, and what are you getting at? There's no way you got pregnant on a one-night stand. It's just not you. Yeah, well, it was New Year's Eve and I was blazzed. <sighs> yeah. All right, then why was I lie? Well, you copped off with Ben over Christmas, didn't you? Look, Michael, this has got nothing to do with Ben. We had a bit of a kiss and that was all. Not that it's any of your business anyway, so why don't you just keep your nose out, eh? Hey? Is she having a go at you now? No, no, I've just upset her and, you know, my guesswork over who's responsible for you-know-what. What do you mean? No, it's all right, Rachel. She told me the other day. But she won't tell me who the father is. You don't know, do you? No, but I'm starting to wonder if it could be Barry. Barry Grant? Half oh, it's in, doesn't it? It's only got this place between them, and now he's putting her up in Birmingham while she has the baby. All oh, looks a bit suspicious to me. What are you two whispering about? Um, Mike knows about Jackie. What? How did she find out? <sighs> well, I took her to the doctors last week, and uh, me and Richard are just speculating over who the father could be. I reckon it could be Ben. I think it might be Barry. Well, I know for a fact it was just some lad in Garland you should probably never even meet again. I was with her when they copped off. She can stop your guessing game to keep your mouth shut, eh? Surely there's something we can do to get them speaking again. <sighs> you know what your dad's like? Once he gets a cop, there's no reasoning with him. Do you think he's being a bit tight on Jason, though? Your dad trusts him. All he had to do was ask. You know, he could have easily borrowed that money. There was no need for him to take it. Our Jason isn't a thief. I know that, but it'll be ages before he forgives them. Look, I'd do anything to get the two of them together. I mean, this is the last thing I need with everything that's going on. We're living in a building size. Every day the rumours are getting stronger and wake about the factory being sold. I could do without Jason and your dad at war with each other as well. But we've got to do something before it goes too far. You know, when I look back to the days when I was dealing, I had more poke then 
than I've ever had in my life. I mean, look at me now. I'm trying to be respectable, right? I'm trying to give something back instead of just taking. But I can honestly say that I have never been so skint or so much in debt as I am now. Yeah, but it's only temporary, isn't it? As soon as you get yourself a job, you'll get sorted out. I won't get a job. I'm just kidding myself. I mean, these people can sense who's who. They know their own, don't they? I clocked the face on that fellow when he saw the state of his shoes. I saw him weighing me up. I knew exactly what he was thinking. What are you doing here? As if we'd let you be one of us. Jimmy, you're imagining me. you just got to get yourself together and give it your best shot. It'll just be the same again tomorrow. It won't. I mean, look how far you've come in the last few years. And it wasn't that long ago when everyone was looking down on you. And all right, you might have had nice gear on and a good car. But look at me, I'm one of your oldest mates. And I was ashamed to know you. I mean, really ashamed. But now I'm proud of you. And all right, you might be skint. But you can hold your head up round here again, and that's some achievement. So don't let that go. You can do the job. You've just got to convince them of it. Thanks, Sam, but I can't. Why not? <sighs> I haven't got a pair of shoes to wear. Well, can't you mend the ones you had on today? Soldiers came right off. Well, haven't you got another pair? All I've got is these sweaty trainers. I haven't even got the cash to get a new pair. Well, what are you going to do? I mean, you've got to go. I can't. Unless... Unless what? Well... I don't suppose there's any chance of, er... Um, me borrowing a pair of yours, is there? See, this is what I'm reduced to. Having to borrow a pair of shoes because... I can't even afford a few lousy quid for a cheapo pair. Listen, Jimmy. If the shoe fits... The Science of Emotions, next on 4, why men don't cry and why they definitely don't iron. If you've got a sweet tooth, don't miss the Italian kitchen in half an hour. First on four, Brookside. Yeah, well, it is me busy suit, isn't it? Hey, I'll give that back to Mick, will you? The Ofsted report. Could have done with that last night. Couldn't sleep. That had to see me off. No bother. Well, there you go. I've even given them a good polish for you. Oh, cheers, mate. Hey, and listen, um, sorry. I had to ask, you know. All right. Look at that shine. See your face in them. Brill. Sin. They're too small, these. Ah! Oh, I'm not going to be able to wear these. They cripple me. You've got no choice, have you? You're not going to make much of an impression in your trainees. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, you'll be all right. You've only got to have them on for an hour or so. Man of my years, and I haven't got a decent pair of shoes to my name. It's pathetic, isn't it? I mean, what does that say about me as a person? It says you're a bit skint, that's all. No shame in that. We've all been there. How am I expected? to breeze into an interview full of confidence, right? When I'm dressed in a cheap suit and a pair of shoes that are two sizes too small for me. You got any gypsy creams? Uh, no, I don't think so, love. Hey, Jess. Oh, I was just on my way around to see you. Tea and Vicky's. <laughs> huh? 
take for these as well, please. Right, you are. That's uh, one pound three p, please. Don't tell me Laughing Boy's still got a face on him. Mm, yeah. I think you and me could do with a bit of a chat, couldn't we? Well, look, why don't we meet Lisa, Barbara? Key? Hey, that's my daughter's place. That she's the managing director. Oh, I'll tell you. You said we could have a bit of a discount. You do that. Sure. Tell our love. Hi, Suze. Number two, please. How are you getting on working here? Ah, well, it'll do for now, I suppose. But well, you can't expect a bloke like me to be stuck in here for the rest of his natural. I'm used to being my own boss, you see. Well, I thought you were supposed to be taking things easy. You've got to think of your heart. Susie, at this rate, I will flame and well die of boredom. Now, I've got to find something more interesting, you know, something with a bit of a challenge. It's just a matter of coming up with a good idea. You know, trying to find out what people really want. Oh, you should do a bit of market research. No, ask around. All right, fair enough. You can start the ball rolling. Now, what would make your life easier? Um... A million pounds in the bank and my own private masseur at my beck and call night and day. <laughs> no, only kidding. I suppose what I'd like is... Uh, well, someone to do all my errands for me. You know, all those little tasks you don't have time for, you know, picking up the dry cleaning, a bit of shopping, that sort of thing. Someone to help out, like? Hmm. Oh, we're very lucky. We've got Julia. I mean, she does a lot for us. And, you know, she was brilliant with the children. I think they looked on her as a sort of uh, honorary gran. Honorary gran? There you are, Ron. There's your idea. There must be hundreds of families round here who need a helping hand. You know what, Suze? I think you might just have something there, you know? I mean, everybody really needs a gran, don't they? Hey, I could hire them out by the hour. I could make myself a mint here. I mean, there must be buckets full of older women out there who'd be glad of a job. Well, when you're rich and famous, I hope you'll remember who gave you the idea. Bye. Ta-da, love. Hey, thanks. Mm. Better make a move, kid. Don't want to be late. Hang on a sec. I've got a card here. Ah, oh, good luck card. Shouldn't have bothered. <laughs> well, I didn't, actually. It's a birthday card for little William. I'll drop oh, his present nice. on later. Nice one. Poor little mate. Not going to have the greatest birthday in history. Got to take him to the clinic, you know, for his MMR jab. <laughs> but he'll scream the place down. Don't blame him. It's not his fault. We missed his appointment for his nine-month health check, so they're going to look him over, you know. Oh, well. And he invites you to the party, by the way, cos I've just got a nice big bucket of jelly and ice cream. <laughs> Sorry, mate. It's on hold. Mm. Well, it doesn't seem right, you know, having to do at the moment. Oh, Lindsay's still on pins, went for that scumbag stand to turn up again. Well, he's had a good hiding, hasn't he? He's not come sniffing round here again. Yeah, but Peter should have finished him off when he had the chance. Yeah, and a lot of good he'd have been to Lindsay banged up in prison, wouldn't he? Uh, I suppose so. Right, better make a move. Hey, I think I'll take this with me. I mean, they'll be dead impressed if they think I've read it, won't they? Good luck. Cheers, mate. See you later. Tell our mate. Yeah, certainly. I'll get Miss Kitson to call you back. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Marcus! Hey, I called round at the close. I thought I might find you here. <laughs> How are you? How is California? Excellent. I had a ball. Life in California? I couldn't believe I was really there. <laughs> I wish I could have come with you. Oh, maybe next time. Oh, well, and I got you earning a keep. Oh, well, I'm just covering for Katie for a couple of hours. I'm bored stiff. Yeah. So tell me all about it. How did the lectures go? Oh, pretty well, really. Yeah, I enjoyed being at Berkeley. It's good to see someone's actually not sold out. You know, it's still as radical as they used to be, but uh, the principal invited me back, so I can't have been that bad. I bet you were brilliant. I wish I could have seen you in action. Oh, you've heard it all before. Yeah, but I love hearing you speak. It's so inspiring. Are you doing any more over here? Mm -mm, not for a while. I'm going to be far too busy. Really? Doing what? Oh, you know, tidying my sock drawer, that sort of thing. No, really, what are you doing? I've been offered a book publishing contract. Marcus, that is brilliant! And one of the broadsheets has already shown an interest in serialising it. <sighs> the sort of stuff you write really gets people going. I bet it will be picked up by radio and TV. You'll be getting your message across to millions. Ooh, well, I'd best sharpen my pencil then, hadn't I? Wow. You'll have the chance to really make people sit up and think about what's important in life. It's so exciting to think that my dad is achieving something so amazing, making a real impact on the world. Like 
away. Yeah. Any chance of a box of clean water, mate? Can't help you, mate. I don't work here anymore, you remember? Well, you might as well do. You're always hanging around the place. Well, I'm master in the art of making a cup of coffee last all day. There's nothing else to do. Well, you can come with me if you like and help me crack my scrim. No, you're all right. Anyway, haven't you got anything else lined up? You lad like you to agree under your belt. The world's your lobster. Well, actually, I'm, uh, I'm going to be working on a film with George and old mate from college. A big screen, like? Yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. Should be a real winner. That'll cost you, won't it? Have you won the lottery? No, no I'm going to be lending some money from me out for the... Thought he was skins. <sighs> You're joking, aren't you? He's got thousands stashed away. Well, he hasn't got it in a tin under the mattress, has he? No, no, it's in our Jackie's name in some bank account somewhere. What's it doing in your Jackie's name? Well, you know, for the court and that. Oh, yeah, to make him look skint, so we won't have to pay up if the court fine him. Well, they can't take away what he hasn't got, can they? I don't believe this. Your Alpha does the most stupid thing ever, then tries to wriggle out of paying for his mistake. Well, you can't expect him to just pay all his money to some court. He's got no shame in him. He's always looking after number one. Yeah, well, you've got to look after yourself in this world, haven't you? No one else is going to do it. Hi, Mr. Corkin. Thanks for coming. This is Mrs. Taylor, the head of the Board of Governors. Oh, Pleased to meet you. And I'm Miss Dalton, head of the History Department. Afternoon, Miss Dalton. The interview will last for 30 minutes or so. My colleagues and I will ask a few standard questions. Then the boot will be on the other foot, so to speak, and you will have an opportunity to ask us a few questions. Right, great. OK. Far away, then. Well, let's start with your training. I believe you did your teaching practice at Manor Park. Yeah, that's right. Um, I think the best thing about it was, uh, well, it gave me a chance to see how it's done. You know, um, the mentoring programme was brilliant. It meant I could, uh, well, I could watch and listen, you know, and really learn from teachers who've been around the block a few times. Show me what it's really like to be a teacher. Doesn't it feel weird having something wriggling inside your stomach? What do you think? What happens if you fall in love with it? That's what most women do, innit? Mike, shut up, will you? It's all sorts. Hi, hi. You two are as thick as thieves, aren't you? What are you plotting now? Nothing. You all set, then? Lovely Birmingham on sea? Yeah, I'm all packed. I'm ready to go. You'd better give us your phone number, innit? Hey, you'd be best to just ring me on my mobile. Where are you staying, then? Barry's found me somewhere. Better not be some dive. Taz, it'll be fine. It'll only be for a couple of months, anyway. And it's me hope that he's paying you extra money for all this mess then. Dad, there's more to life than money. Well, that's easy to say when you've got loads. Oh, by the way, uh, have you heard any more about that cash card business? Um, no, not really, Dad. Some no mark must have found it, that's all. Yeah, well, you're supposed to cut them in half before you bin them. You can't just leave them lying around to tempt people. Yeah, all right, all right. So what do you reckon, Jack? Do you think you'll get the money back or what? Oh, yeah, I'll get it back all right. Well, that's good. That's the main thing, isn't it? You don't want to chuck away all your hard earned cash. Thanks. And incidentally, I won't need one penny piece of it. Got a nice little earner on the go. I'm thinking about starting up another business. Oh, uh, doing what? The answer to every mother's prayer. Aye, aye. You see, time was people used to look out for one another. Your kids would get married, move away, bang out a couple of babies. Then everyone would rally round. The grandparents would step in, look after the kids, share the load. You could have a day out of form, be a fish and chip supper, and still have change out of two bob. Yeah, but that's all gone now, isn't it? These days, it's every man for himself. So I thought, as people need families, I would start a rent-a-granny agency. Great grannies. What do you think? Well, they're the grabber granny, is it like that? What a mad idea. Hey, you've got no idea how people struggle with families these days. You're a businesswoman, aren't you? You can't imagine what it's like to have children, you. I well, never know. She might have a baby one day. Could be sooner than you think. Right, um, I'd better get going. I'll be late. Right. I'll see you then. Get to Arlo. Um, I'll be in touch, Dad. I'll see you. Yeah. Bye. You don't think I upset her, do you? What did I say? No, it's not just you, Pops. She's been biting my head off as well. I think field trips, um, they sort of make history come alive, don't they? Making it more real for the kids. Um, well, that way they can get to really enjoy the subject. Well, thanks for that, Mr. Corkiller. I think we're just about finished. Thanks for coming in. I'll be in touch soon. Um, when? You should hear one way or the other by the end of next week. Right. 
Sorry, keep you. Sorry, come here. Perhaps I could get Miss Kitson to call you back? It's probably best if you speak to her yourself. Yeah, that's right. Well, she'll be back from court very soon. Okay, then. Thanks. Bye. Eleanor will go mad if she finds you in here. Still wearing the same perfume after 20 years. Don't. She keeps her private stuff in there. You know something? It doesn't suit you working in an office. Makes you all tense and uptight. Come on. Let's get out of here. I can't. Oh, Louise. Louise. What am I going to do with you? Hmm? So you got here all right, then? Well, the, the, tra the traffic was fine. Are you well? Him, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Good. Look, can I just nip your toilet? He's been playing football with me blazer all the way over here. Of course, here. It's, uh, it's just through there. Thanks. Uh, where shall I put him? Um... <sighs> it's a piece, Lily. Lisa, we really appreciate what you're doing for us. You know why I'm letting her stay. Well, I really hoped you'd come round to the idea. I'll never condone what you're doing. Never. To be honest, I just wish I'd never got involved. If you weren't my sister. Cheers, mate. Do you know something? My feet are killing me after wearing your shoes. You must have feet like Cornish pasties, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's gratitude for you, isn't it? Hey, how did you get on? Yeah, OK, I think. You never can tell with these things, can you? Oh, Jimmy, have you got foot rot or what? All right, sorry. I had a pair of odor eaters. I'll crack at it. What a dog. Hey, I heard the factory was up for sale. That can't be right, can it? I thought they just made a big, massive investment in new machinery and stuff. They are. That's why they sell. They'll make a bomb. Do you reckon your job's safe? Well, I've just been offered a new job. The FMWA want me to be a rep. A union rep? That's great! So, it doesn't matter to you whether the factory's sold on or not. You'll be OK. Don't put it like that, Jess. Makes me look like I'm only out for myself. Oh, nobody could ever accuse you of that. And what about Laughing Boy? Is he supporting you in all this? Yeah, up to a point. You know what he's like. Yeah, I do. Only too well. So, are you going to spit it out or what? What? Well, we both know we're not just here for the cake. Come on, what's that son of mine been up to now? So... Oh, did, um, Katie say when she might pop over? She's uh, Jackie's friend. She might pop over a visit, keep her company. Are you telling me that this Katie actually knows what's going on? Well, uh, I wasn't too happy about it when I first heard, but... Yeah, well, I, I need to have her around. You know, someone close to give me a bit of support. She's Jackie's birth partner. And what does your friend think of this situation? Well, she thought I was mad at first, but now... She's fine about it. I I can't understand how everyone can be so casual about all this. Am I the only one who's thought this through properly? Lisa, I've told you. We've discussed it endlessly. Everybody knows where they stand. And what about the child? Where does he stand? Will you tell him where he's come from? Uh, no. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This child was conceived and will be born as part of a deal. Lisa, it's not like that. Look, I was doing it for the money at first, but not now. I've seen what Max and Susanna have been through and I really feel for them. And what about you? 
How would you feel if the child comes to look for you? Your child, your flesh and blood, asking why you sold him? You're making it sound so sore, doesn't it? It's not like that. And what if you have children in the future? Will you tell them they have a half-brother out there? Won't they have a right to know? Lisa, just stop this. I know Jackie's the birth mother, but we... Max and I... We created this baby in our minds. In our hearts. The technicalities, they, they really don't matter. We have so much love to give him. But Susanna, don't you see? You can love him all you like, but he'll never be yours genetically. He'll be Max's child, and that's enough for me. Oh? And how did you feel about Thomas and Alice? Did you love them? No, of course you didn't. Because they weren't yours. But I'll be the one who looks after him. It'll be me who comforts him and cares for him and makes him feel safe and in his eyes I'll be his mother and that's all that matters to me. Jackie, get your things. You can't stay here, this is impossible. I don't blame you for what you did. Greg just can't seem to forgive you. Jason came to me and confided in me. Him and Katrina aren't kids. They made their own minds up. Look, I couldn't have told you and Greg. It would only have made matters worse. Look, I know it put you in a difficult position. But I've tried to explain all this to Greg, but he won't listen. I just can't seem to get through to him. He was the same when he was a little lad. He could sulk for England, that one. Oh, Jason's a chip off the old block and all. Oh, these Shadwick men. Can't half be hard work. My Tommy was the worst. Oh, I loved the bones of him, but when he had a face on him. Oh, they're pig-headed, the lot of them. They think they're always right. No, Greg's here, Jess. That's why he's carrying on like this. He thinks it all went behind his back. Then it should make him think, shouldn't it? Why couldn't his own son come and talk to him? Yeah, and why couldn't Jason come and talk to me? That's what I'd like to know. Because he knew that when Greg found out, he would feel even more betrayed. He didn't want to cause trouble between you two. Yeah, well, whatever the reason, the atmosphere in the house is unbearable. Oh, Jess, the whole thing's a mess. Leave it to Mar Shadwick. I'm going to have to have a word with that son of mine. See if I can talk some sense into him. God, I'm going to have to bleach these. Oh, shut it, man. Yeah? Be giving me a complex, you. Well, I'm in court next week, aren't I? I don't want my shoes stinking the place out. Dick, I was in court next week, innit? Yeah, no, it's my turn. God, I'm dreading it. Oh, listen, you'll get a slap on the wrists, that's all. Won't cost you. You're up to date on your insurance, aren't you? They won't pay out, will they, because I've broke the law? How do you mean, Mac? I shouldn't be selling cookers. I'm not corgi registered. OK, that's a bit. Plenty of people sell second-hand cookers without being corgi, what's it? Yeah, I know. That's why I wasn't too bothered about it. Because everyone else gets away with it, why shouldn't I? Uh, you mean, uh, you knew that you shouldn't really have been doing it? I wish to God I'd had more sense to him. I've been really stupid, you know. And it's my fault that your little Kylie got hit. Look, Susanna, please, I'm sorry. I really don't mean to be hurtful. I'm just concerned about you, that's all. All of you. I should never ask you to put Jackie up. It was a stupid idea. Susanna, where else can I go? Jackie's right. At least if she stays here, no one else need know. If this ever got out... It's against my better judgment, but I said I'd help, and I will. Because you're my sister. And because you need me. I'm not having that. You can't take the blame for what happened to our Kylie. All right, OK, I agree, you were a pillock. You shouldn't have done it. But that doesn't make you a criminal. I mean, that's like saying someone who sells cars is responsible for car accidents. Ron Dixon's the one who's cocked everything up, Sin. You told him not to fit that himself, didn't you, hey? But, oh, no, he thought better of it, as usual. Just went ahead and did it without thinking about anybody else. I suppose that's him all over, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, well, every cloud has a silver lining. At least Arlen should cop for a nice wedge of compo. Wouldn't bank on it, Jimmy. All right, OK, I know he's as tight as a duck's what's it, but, you know, it's not going to be up to him, is it? He's got no intention of parting with a bean. The courts will make him pay up. He's minted him. Well, not anymore. Well, not on paper, anyway. How do you mean, like? He's put all his money in there, Jackie's name. There, Mike told me. As far as the courts are concerned, Ron Dixon is totally skint. You what? <sighs> well, I might have known he'd pull a stunt like that. What 
the hell's to do with me? I should have seen that coming a mile away. You weren't to know he'd stoop this low. I've not kept my eye on the ball, have I, eh? I was that busy wrapped up with our Kyle and our Lindsay and my own job prospects that I just didn't stop to think it all through. <sighs> I only thought we were going to lose our little Kyle, you know, so... I couldn't stand it. Seeing her in such a state, not being able to do anything, I felt so flaming useless. But she made it, didn't she? She's all right. How do you think I felt? I right, with them five fellas standing there waiting to chop my legs off to get at it. God. Knowing all the time it was either there or me. And you were dead sound there, mate. Never forget that. Offering to lose the Isle pins to save her. I don't know what we would have done if she'd... <sighs> Do you know, Sam? We were over the moon. You know, when she came home from hospital, we just... But we just wanted everything to get back to normal, you know? And then who goes and turns up after reading about it in all the papers? Gary Stanlow, chucking his weight around, threatening to take our little Gary away. Our Lindsay couldn't handle it. She'd just nearly lost a little girl once, and now it was happening all over again. And it wouldn't have happened if it hadn't have been for Ron Dicko being a prize dickhead. Yeah, well, he's not going to get away with it, Sim. He has put my family through hell. And he's going to pay for it. I am going to get what we're entitled to. Coming up, savour the delights of a chocolate nemesis and an almond tart with summer fruits. A final helping from the Italian kitchen, next on 4. Brookside. He's not going to get away with it, you know. Are you talking to me? Thinks he's pulling a fast one, doesn't he? What? Salting his money away. Thinks he can mess with the likes of the core kills, does he? Well, that's where he's wrong. Because we're fighting back. We want justice, compensation, and we're going to get it. Your owl fella hasn't heard the last of this. What are you on, Jim? That explosion was just as much Sinbad's fault as me owl fellas. I don't see him putting his hand in his pocket, so why should me owl fella? Hey, Jim, I've got his measure. Get got off that? Me. I'm going to take him to the cleaners. Every last penny! Oh, Jimmy, what's going on? He just went for me. Things because we're skint, got nothing, he can just walk all over us. Jimmy, go see the customers. Go on. Head the ball. You all right? Yeah. Well, thanks to him, he's probably still on drugs. It's amazing. Mikey! All right, George. Have I got some good news for you? Yeah? Go on, lunches on me. We're on our way to Newbiesville. Shot on film, it makes its cousin soaps look like palm door material. Not only was it bad, it was irredeemably appalling. For example, in the opening scene, we visit each luxurious house there. Oh, yeah. Hello. Well, I just thought I'd pop round and see how you are. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course not. Come in. Thanks. Nice. I'm glad for the company, to tell you the truth. I've had the telly on all morning and it's one chat you after the other. It's been doomy, has it? Well, I'm not a big fan of those daytime television programmes myself. Yeah, well, only another nine weeks to go, eh? Well, I tell you what, you sit down and I'll put the kettle on. No, no, I'll put the kettle on. It'll give me something to do. And then you can give me all the goss from the close. <laughs> What's so funny? You've only been away a day. Yeah, well, it feels like a year. Tom is <sighs> 
You going out for lunch? No, I've got a half day. Oh, right. You doing anything special? Just thought I'd go into town and have a look around the shops and that. <laughs> what? You women are all the same, aren't you? You are? Fancy taking time off work to go shopping. Oh, all right, clever clogs. And I suppose if you had to half day, you'd do something really interesting. <laughs> something more exciting than shopping, anyway. <laughs> so you off, then? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I've put the phones through. I'll see you tomorrow, then. OK, bye. <laughs> see you. Have fun. Don't worry, I will. She's going shopping. I know. Lucky her. So, are you going to be much longer? Yeah, uh, ten minutes or so. I've just got to finish in there. Are you going back round to the close this afternoon? Yeah, worse luck. I'm sorry. I'm just working around there with me dad. Me and him aren't exactly seeing eye to eye at the moment. Oh, I see. Bit of an atmosphere, like. It's one of them things. Hi. Uh, you got five minutes? Well, no, not really. I've got work to do. Oh, well, can I make an appointment then? What? I need some legal advice. So you came to me? Hmm. Well, you are a solicitor. And don't worry, I can pay. You better come through. Don't see you in here very often, can I? <sighs> I just had a craving for some chips. Loads of salt vinegar. Oh, no doubt. Open, please. I'm starving. Hey, hope you're not spoiling your appetite. <laughs> I am. Uh, just a little something to bridge the gap till later. Oh, I'll make sure you leave some room, eh? They make the sarnies all morning. Don't worry. Come five o'clock, I'll be starving again. See ya. See ya. See ya. It's not Gemma's birthday, you know. I'll do a little tea for her. Oh, very nice. Actually, I meant to mention it to you. Oh, good one. OK, well, I'll bring our Will and little Kyle around then, eh? You are. Gemma's party, I'll bring the kids round. All right. But, uh, who'll look after this place? Oh, I see. Flaming great, eh? Cinderella as usual, mate. Come on, Jimmy, it's only a little tea party. You're not gonna miss anything. I know. Don't mind me, I'm just in a bit of a funny mood. You can say that again. I thought you were gonna strangle Mike Dixon out there. Yeah, I'm just a bit uptight, mate, you know. Waiting to hear how I've gone on with these jobs and that way. All right. They said they'd let me know as soon as possible, but I haven't had a dicky bed. Still early days yet, Jimmy. You only had the interview the other day. Yeah, I don't know, but I know in my luck. Come on, don't be writing your chances off yet. It's just... I want this job real bad, Mick. And if I get it, well, that'll be me, Jackie, the kids, all of us set up for life, you know, it'll be the making of us. But if I don't get it... Well? This isn't really my area of expertise. I have no real experience in this field. Publicity contract? I thought it'd be a doddle for someone of your ability. I really don't have the time at the moment. I can wait. I'm good at waiting. I've had plenty of practice, haven't I? Right. Finished? Oh, uh, right. Thanks, Jason. All right, I'll see you later, then. Yeah, bye. Right. Let's get one thing straight. Mm -hmm. I won't have you coming in here under the pretense of work or anything else. I've no intention of representing you. I want nothing to do with you. So what do you want? What? What do you want? Oh, I'm too busy for this. I think you'd like to be in control, wouldn't you? That's it. You want to be in charge. You want to be on top. Get out. Control freak. You're a control freak, Eleanor. What? Well, look at this place. All neat and tidy, everything in order. Oh, put that back. Control. That's what it's about, isn't it? You pulling the strings, you making the moves. Oh, give me that. You like to dominate, don't you? That's enough. Eleanor, I... Sorry, I didn't realise. It's all right. Marcus was just leaving. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks for your help. Um, I really appreciate it. See you round. And I'll see you for that drink later. Yeah, sure. Why don't you ever read? Well, the newspaper and mm, Hello magazine every now and then, but that's only to look at the pictures. Oh, well. Lisa will be home in the evenings to keep me company. Oh, no, and I'm not complaining. It's just that I'm used to being in the bar all day with loads of people around me, that's all. Well, maybe I should cancel the holiday. Well, yes, that's what I'll do. I'll cancel the trip to Goa. Susanna, no, there's no needs. But I should be here for you. I could move in. Hey, I know I said I was bored. But you're not that bored, hmm? We'd just be at each other's throats, wouldn't we? 
It's only for a few weeks. I'll just have to get used to it. And Casey's going to be visiting me, isn't she? I suppose so. Look, will you stop worrying? Go on your holiday and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Try and enjoy myself. Well, it's so close to the birth. And I was thinking, what if the baby comes early and I'm not here? Yeah, but it's not likely to come early, is it? No, but if it does come early, I'll miss the birth. The doctor said that there was going to be no problems, so why worry? Oh. Well, I can't help worrying with you here and Max and I halfway around the world. Susanna, go on your holiday and relax. Take it easy while you've still got the chance. Because when you get back here, it won't be long before you've got a new baby to look after. There you go. Thanks. So, have you got much on today? Apart from meeting Marcus for a drink later. He says he's got a proposition for me. I think he's going to offer me a job. What? Oh, that's his PA. He's going to need one, isn't he? What with the book deal and the university lectures he's doing. I mean, he's going to need someone to look after him. Well, hold on, Louise. I thought you were going to go to university. Well, yeah, but there's nothing that says I have to do it this year, is there? But you've already had a year off. Yeah, but this is such a great opportunity for me, working with Marcus. I really don't think this is a good idea at all. Why? Because I think you should go to college. But working with him will be good for me. Please, Louise, I don't want to argue about it. <gasps> God, you're such a hypocrite. What? I mean, it's all right for you, isn't it? He was in here with you ten minutes ago. He came to me for some legal advice. I told him I wasn't interested in representing him. I was asking him to leave the office. That's not what it looked like to me. What do you mean? <sighs> Never mind. Louise! It's just that I haven't heard from you for ages. I've been busy, Mikey. Making your money work. Well, actually, that's what I wanted to speak to you about. Me money. Well, what about? I've had a change in circumstances. I'm not sure where you're coming from, Mikey. Look, George, I'm skint and I could do with me money back. Mikey, your money's spent, well spent. Huh. Pre-production, you knew the score. But you said I could have a piece of the action. I've got nothing to show for it. Nothing to show for it. Take a look at that beauty. It's a hotel bill. Yeah, London. For a thousand pounds. Breakfast meetings, meals, bar bills. Hang on. You spent my money on a hotel bill. Well, look upon it as an investment. <sighs> I don't believe it. Believe it, Mikey. Believe it. We're hot. What? It was a power weekend. Movers and shakers. They loved what I had to say. Loved the premise. Well, I told you it was good news, didn't I? One thousand pounds. That's what I call VFM. Value for money. Well, I'd better take that, Mikey. But stay with me, I've got some more good news for you, OK? George Duncan. OK, if I call again? Yeah, of course you can. I'd be glad of the company. Is there anything you'd like me to bring? Um, no, I don't think so. And I'm only a couple of minutes away from the shop, so it'll do me good to get out. Mm, as long as you don't go overdoing it. Mm. I won't, I promise. Oh, that'll be Casey. Hiya. Hiya. Come in. Oh, hiya. <laughs> Bye. Well, I was just going. Hey, and remember, don't you even think about cancelling the holiday. I won't. See you later. Bye now. See ya. What holiday? Ed and Max are going to go for a fortnight. Well, when? The week after next. You're joking. What if the baby comes early? <sighs> Sorry about that. Who was he? Oh, nobody. Nobody? You've been on the phone for ages. Just someone who helps who wants in. But I'm not interested. <sighs> Somebody else after the free meal, Addy. What? Breakfast meetings. That was the guy from LA, big time. Oh, lunch in town, so. Distributor, looks like he's on board. Mikey, they love us. The buzz has gone all round Soho. Yeah, I bet it has. Anyone who's after the free meal, they know where to come. That's the game, Mikey, getting out there, getting ourselves known. And now the Yanks have got a sniff of it, they're keen. Yeah? Yeah, they want to see a new treatment for the American market. So, are they going to give us some money then? Of course, eventually. Eventually. Look, I'm skint. I need money now. Mikey, the movie business doesn't work like that. You've got to play the long game. Well, we hold out, play them off against each other, push up the price. Hold on, George. You expect me to buy all this. I've put a grand in, and all I've got to show for it is a hotel bill. You've brought yourself a steak, Mikey. A steak? Yeah, a fillet steak in red wine sauce, and it's cost me a grand. Hey, Mikey, what is this? I want out, George. What? I want my money back. And I thought you were different. 
I thought you were bigger than that. That's why I came to you. I thought you had talent, ambition. But I was wrong, wasn't I? What are you doing? That nobody I was talking to, well, it looks like he's gonna be a somebody. Just think that could have been you. Hold on. But you blew it, Mikey. George, George, just a second. <sighs> Look, disinterest from America. Mikey, I've given you the lowdown already. Now, are you in or out? I need to know, because I can't afford to carry you. There's no room for losers on the train to Moviesville. So what's it gonna be, Mikey? the food up before your mates get here, eh? Right. It was Olya. Uh, he's gone out. Why is he so home? Yeah, because I said we couldn't go on holiday. Got no money left? Things are just a little bit tight, babe. Because you want to pay for him, he's going to a new school. <sighs> Nothing's been decided yet, babe. Just gonna have a look, that's all. But if I don't go to a new school, we could go on holiday. Oh, Jim, we've been through all that. I'm happy if you could come. I know you are, babe. We're just gonna have a look, that's all. See what it's like. I don't spoil your birthday, eh? But it's not fair. I don't want to go to a new school. I'll get that. You finish putting the food out, eh? All right, Cass. Hiya. Am I glad to see you? Why? What's up? Leo Sulkins was going out with his mates. I know Gemma's got a lip on her. Hiya, Gemma, love. Happy birthday. Don't worry. Leave it to me. It's just that I'm skint. I've had a bit of bad luck. I've lost my job in this place. What, your sister runs this place? Yeah, she does. But me and her have had a little falling out. So much for blood being thick in the water. So what do you think for money? Well, not much. I'm just getting by. Scrub a shave and a new suit. What? Yeah, I reckon you just might be able to do it. Do what? Sell. <laughs> Sell what? Insurance. What life insurance? Insurance, pensions, mortgages on target earnings, 50K a year. 50,000 quid? Yeah, more if you put your back into it. <sighs> well, how come you know so much about all this? Because that's what I do. I sell insurance. I thought you were a producer. Like I said, I'm playing the long game. In the meantime, I've got to keep body and soul together. And you can make a living out of it, like? You can make a living too. Oh, oh? By looking smart, by being sharp, by closing. Closing. Selling, Mikey, selling. George, I've never sold anything in my life. No problem. You'll pick it up. You'll be closing before the week's out. Yeah? Yeah, and I'm going to teach you everything I know. I'm going to teach you how to close. Closing is what it's all about. Right. Going for the juggler, getting that sale. ABC, Mikey. ABC. Always be closing. So, is Alan all right? What are you taking half a day? Yeah, sound. Hey, you didn't tell her where you were going, did you? Of course I didn't. I'm not stupid. Yeah. Anyway, I picked the wrong day to have off. Jason was working in the office. Oh, you haven't still got the hot for him, have you? Mm, too right, he's gorgeous. Yeah, and he also happens to have a girlfriend. Well, a girl can dream, can't you? Is that all you do in that office, is it? Sit there dreaming about Jason Chadwick. Don't be daft. Dream about loads of other fellas as well. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's just the life, isn't it? What is? I'm sitting here watching the telly with your feet up. You're welcome to it. Oh, I'm bored stiff, Casey. Oh, it's a nice break for you, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, I don't want a break. I want to be working and running the bar. I won't say this, and we had to done in. I was even glad when Susanna turned up. <laughs> Things must be bad. Ow. <sighs> oh, Jackie, what is it? <sighs> it's the baby. It's moving. Oh, my God, is it on its way? What are we going to do? Ow. Hang on a minute. Oh, if you've changed your mind about representing me, uh, it's too late. I've found someone else. I want to talk to you about Louise. And? Well, she seems to be under the impression that you're about to offer her a job as your PA. Is that so? Yes. So, is it true? Are you about to offer her a job? Maybe. Maybe? Yes, perhaps something for the summer till she goes to university. Oh. 
So you think she should go to university too? Yes, of course I do. Oh, I see. Disappointed. Sorry? That, like you, I think Louise should go to university. Oh, more surprised than disappointed. Surprised that I should want the best for my daughter? God, you're so arrogant, aren't you? You think you're the only one whose opinion counts. Well, listen, you do well to remember that Louise is also my daughter. I really thought it was on its way then. No, he's just moving round, I'm having a bit of a stretch. Imagine if I had come early and I had to deliver it. Oh, I were free. Oh, great. Now, she tells me after the vast to be my birth partner. No, I'll be all right when the doctors and midwives are there. I just mean if I was on my own, I wouldn't know what to do. Oh. Oh, God, did you see that then? <laughs> yeah, and I felt it as well. Oh, it looked like it was his elbow or something. Does it remind you of anything? Have you seen Alien? Oh, Jackie, that's <laughs> horrible. Oh, look, there it goes again. <laughs> Alien 2. Quite a lot of things. Alright. Yeah, sound. I've just got myself a new job. Oh, nice one. Do one new job myself. I thought you went for your old fella. I do. That's the problem. And I live with him as well. That's why I'm not here. It's one of them, is it? Yeah. I know exactly how you feel, mate. Me and my dad aren't exactly eating enough at the moment. What is it with that, say? Why do they always think they know best? So, <clears throat> if you'd like to help me out over the summer, there'd be plenty to keep you busy. Yeah, great. But what happens at the end of the summer? Well, you're going to university, aren't you? Well, yeah, but I thought if the job worked out... Louise, you don't want to be stuck working for me. You want to get out there and get yourself an education. It's too good an opportunity to miss. And I know all about missed opportunities. Now, university is the place for you. Is this you speaking, or is it Eleanor? What? I saw you and her talking before. Did she put you up to this? No. Not at all. Look, we talked about you, but... I really think you should go to university. Yeah, I suppose so. Go on, you and Eleanor are agreeing on something, eh? It's a turn up for the books, isn't it? Mm, has been noted. So is it my imagination, or are you two getting on better? I'll get us another drink. Hey, yeah, you've done all right for Prezzies, haven't you? We really are great, thanks. You're welcome, love. Looks like your friends are enjoying themselves. Gemma, love. What is it? If I go to a new school, I'll lose all my friends, won't I? What? My dad wants me to go to a new school, one of those posh ones. Hey, I thought he just wanted you to go and have a look for now. I don't want to go to a new school. Why does my dad want me to? He's only trying to do what's best for you in the long run. He wants you to have a decent start in life. But I'm happy at Bluey Con. All my friends are there. I know. But if you move school, you'll soon make new friends, just like you did when you first went to Brookie Con. But all the kids at this new school are going to be dead posh. Not at all. You'll fit in dead well. But what about Sir Leo? Leo? And what's it got to do with him? He said it's my fault we're not going on holiday. He's playing with me. Is he? He said, if you have to take an exam to get into school, I should fail on purpose. That is stupid. But then we'll be able to go on holiday. <laughs> Don't take any notice of your brother. If your dad decides to send you to a new school, you've got to do the best in that exam. <laughs> Come on, Gemma, love. You know your dad thinks the world of you. He's only doing what's best. Just go along with it for now, eh? Go and have a look at the school. Yeah. You never know, you might like it. Go on, go and get yourself some cake before it's all gone. <laughs> Treat me like a little kid sometimes. Tell me about it. I mean, I'm old enough to know my own mind. You can't help sticking the noses in, can you? I wish you'd never taken that money. You were? I was in a bit of a pickle and needed some money to bail me out, so I borrowed a few quid, if you know what I mean. Yeah, too right to do. I did exactly the same thing. Good way. It's a joke, isn't it? And all this crap, you can talk to me about anything, son. I wouldn't dream of going to him with a problem. And why waste your time? Yeah, well, I've had enough. I want out of that place. I've got to just get enough money together. I'll you know, get a mortgage, get a place in my own. A mortgage? Did you just say you wanted a mortgage? Just anything to get away from him. Well, you might just be talking to the right man. Do you want another one? Yeah, toast my new job, eh? And your university career. Marcus, before you go to the bar, there's been something I've been meaning to ask you. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know how to say this. It's really awkward. Come on, Louise. I'm not easily embarrassed. <sighs> well, it's just that this morning in Eleanor's office, mm. well, you and her, I mean, it looked like there was something going on. I mean, was there? I mean, is there? Well, what did it seem like to you? Well, I wouldn't have brought it up if it hadn't, you know. Well, there you go, then. God, you mean? It's early days, Louise. You're right, we are getting on better, a lot better. Well, that's great. Is there anything I can do? What do you mean? Well, to make things go more smoothly, you and Eleanor. Yeah, just be patient. See what happens. <sighs> that's great. <laughs> you and Eleanor. I knew it. I knew there was something going on. Well, the waiting is over. The brand new series of Friends is just a few minutes away. You weren't thinking of going anywhere, were you?